then the train jerked very hard and then kept going and then it came to a pretty quick stop and everybody knew something bad had happened. A ride from D.C. to southern West Virginia turns tragic for a group of U.S. lawmakers. They were on their way to a Republican retreat when the train hit a truck in Virginia. And we're learning that at least one member of Congress from this area was on that train. It's a story we've been following all afternoon. Paul Martino joins us now with more on the crash and what lawmakers are saying about it. Paul. Yeah, Ken and Christine, uh, as far as we know, only one lawmaker from our area on the train. It was full of Republican senators, House members, and members of their family. Keith Rothfuss of Sewickley on board. He and other members of Congress appear to be okay, but the driver of that truck is dead. It happened just after 11 Wednesday morning outside of Charlottesville, Virginia. It was a sudden jarring uh, when train hit the truck. Congressman Keith Rothfuss was the only local congressman on the train trip. Investigators say a truck hauling trash was on the tracks. The train was traveling about 70 miles an hour when it collided. Rothfuss was standing up when it happened. It was just a, a sudden thud and, and uh, you, you have a little start when uh, uh, you're able to grab onto a seat uh, uh, and not fall. The truck was turned on its side trash was scattered everywhere and the driver was killed. While some members of Congress suffered bangs and bruises, there are no reports of serious injuries inside the train. We spoke with Rothfuss soon after the crash. Yeah, and of course your thoughts and prayers are with the folks who might be hurt. And uh, so it's a pretty sobering environment here on the train right now. Republicans continued on to their retreat at the luxurious Greenbrier Resort in West Virginia where they'll discuss this year's upcoming agenda. And they're not alone. Next week, Democrats head to Cambridge, Maryland for their own retreat. And the timing of these retreats, rather curious, we're like two weeks away from the possible next government shutdown. And Congress has only three working days between now and the February 8th deadline. Reporting live, Paul Martino, KDKA TV News.